Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Things are doing great out here. We've got uh, almost some springtime weather. It's still in the 60s, but sun shining, no clouds, wind. no wind, no rain in sight, as far as we know. We're supposed to be into the 70s next week, which is great. Uh, loving it. Anyway, so uh, today's video is going to be specifically about what you guys might have seen on Friday's live which is our new product. Uh, Dad did some engineering and came up with a, um, an edge guide that will fit on all of our base plates. So I am going to demonstrate that. If you guys saw Friday nights, you heard me talk about the fact that uh, I'm going to demonstrate that on this, uh, on this video. So uh, let's take it step by step. First thing that I want to show yeah, go ahead and go down, babe. Thank you. First thing I want to show is uh, I've elevated this board. I finally found my bench cookies. So if you guys don't know what these things are, man, they are really handy if you need to bring your material up off the bench. And they stick really well. So these bench cookies are really, really handy to have, if you, especially if you're clamping something on your, uh, on your board, which in this particular case I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is just the same thing I did in um, in a previous video on how to cut a straight line. Now I've just, I, I just arbitrarily, this is a piece of scrap, I arbitrarily put a line on there so I want to have, I want the line to go from corner to corner and if you guys saw the last video, in fact I'll put a uh, I'll put the number of the video that I'm talking about uh, in uh, across the screen right now. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make a uh, a spot in both of those corners. And uh, all right, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let me get my hat off. Uh, put my cheaters on. You guys can't see that, but trust me, I'm wearing my cheaters. Uh, okay, so let's just get a corner spot there. Now I am using the cordless just because I'm moving around a lot and I wanted the cord to be out of the way of the camera, but this wouldn't matter if you're using a corded router or not, wouldn't make any difference at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up my edge guide. So I am going to, fortunately I have an extra uh, housing and base plate. I'm going to go ahead and put my edge guide on this one just again to make it easier. Uh, easier and faster. So here's how this thing installs. Let me. So we have some adhesive dots on here, and these are dots that Dad literally made from this extreme, what is this called? Extreme mounting tape. This stuff is the best two sided tape I've ever used, ever seen, ever even heard about. This stuff is amazing. Anyway, so Dad cut some dots out of there, and you guys probably saw that on. Uh, on Friday's video and that's how this is going to hold on to our base. So these, uh, I've checked it on all of our base plates and these, uh, this edge guide will work on any of our small base plates. I think dad's in the process of uh, figuring out uh, for the bigger routers but we'll have a basically a bigger version for the bigger routers. So Here's what I'm going to do. This thing's going to, now what you do want to, you want to make sure that you've got pretty clean spots where this thing is going to sit for that to uh, try and get the sawdust out of the way. I probably should do this this way so you guys can see it. So I'm going to, and that's what you don't want to do. So this thing just sits right on that groove. I've installed this thing two or three times, guys. It really is easier than I'm making it look. But anyway, there we go. 
So it's in place right now. Now one thing that I do like to do when I, and whenever I'm using a two-sided tape or anything like that, this is a trick that I just kind of discovered years ago. I just want to put that thing on as much pressure as I can. So I just use this little clamp and that really squeezes that glue and causes that to stick really well. Just put it under pressure for a second or two and those things will hold until you take it off. So it ain't going nowhere. It's nice and solid. Okay? So that's that. It's installed. It's ready to go. Now, we'll put that on our router. Here, let me get it over here. We'll put that. Let me turn the lights off on this one. Now we're going to put this on our router. Let me see. I hope I'm doing this correct. All right. There we go. Now we're going to set up our straight edge. So here's what we're going to use for our straight edge. It's just a piece of MDF. Again, guys, the, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. But um, one thing that I do want to stress in order to make that line as good as you can, when you, um, let me see. Yeah, that's pointed the right way. When you put, the, when you drop this down in that hole, okay, guys, when you do that, turn your bit to where it is, um, it is the, the, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Turn your bit to the point where, and I don't know, can you see in there? Can you actually see the flutes of the bit, babe? I don't know, move your hand. So you want to turn your bit where your flute, your flutes are going this way, not this way, and then push it all the way to that, to the, the edge of that, that circle. Lift, lift it up. There you go, right there. See how I have this, the flutes going left to right? Because um, it'll go further onto that line. It'll go further forward if I have it setting that way. It's only a fraction of a fraction. It's really minute, but, um, but it, does, it does make a difference. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put the clamp on here just uh, slightly. Just tighten it just a little bit. Now I'll go down to the other end and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to push it all the way in there, trying to keep that base plate somewhat square. Just get a little pressure on that. Now I'm going to go back to the other end, make sure that that is still in the place that I want it to be. Now I need to I need to loosen and push that, push that straight edge forward just a little bit. These clamps are sometimes are kind of a pain. Now, if I go to the other end, back to the other end, make sure that that is nice and tight. And <laughs> that was unrehearsed. <laughs> and I don't know, you guys probably couldn't hear that, but Magno is, is laying about, I don't know, 15 feet behind us, and he just ripped one. He's a big dog, and he ripped some big time. I'm glad he's way over there. <laughs> that was funny. I hope that came, comes through on the sound, because that was classic right there. All right, so I've got this. I, I want to go back and forth from end to end just to make sure that that thing is in place. So now let's, uh, let's give it a cut, see how it works. So I am going to... Let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, I think my bench cookies are all right. I don't think I need to sit down. Here we go. So oh, what? I'm sorry. You're doing it kind of backwards because of the camera, right? Kind of yes. Like oh, that's way. right. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I, I normally would be doing this with, you know, cutting on this side of the edge. But for uh, camera purposes, I'm doing it kind of backwards. So you guys see what I would be seeing if I was doing it not on camera. Thank you for reminding me, babe.
There it is. So see what I mean, guys? I mean, that that is about as good as you can get. You, I pretty much split that pencil line. And it was because I made sure that, that when I put that, that bit in there, that flute was going this way, so it went a, just a tad further. If the, if the uh, flute had been this way, it wouldn't have gone quite as far, and then you might have had a little bit of a mismatch. But that is about as good as you can get. But so that that pretty much is it. So this um, this edge guide, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys are are more comfortable using an edge guide. That's why we decided to go ahead and uh, Dad did the engineering on this thing. He just did a phenomenal job. I love it. I've been using it for uh, I've used it like four or five times now in the last day or so, just to kind of put it through its paces. So let me tell you now. Let me show you. Um, how? Blow it off yeah, yeah. So now, ah, uh, I don't want to do that. I gotta raise that bit so this thing will sit flat. So now it's just a matter now, let me move this out of the way, of taking that thing off. And actually, I with these uh, little adhesive dots, um, I've taken it, I, I've had one that I took off and put on like three times and, uh, and it worked really good. But if you guys are going to use this, it, I think most people are going to use it just sparingly now um, and just once in a while. But in order to get that thing off, it's, it's pretty easy. It just pops right off. So it does it. You can see how good those little adhesive dots hold. They hold really, really well. Now this one stayed on the base plate, but again, you know, it doesn't take anything. You can see how good that adhesive is. And that probably would stick back down there. But you guys would definitely want to get yourself some of this extreme tape or whatever two-sided tape you like. If you've got a two-sided tape you like better, but that's really all it takes. You want to have definitely three points for that thing to hold on. And once you do that, it's going to work. Uh, again, I've used it half a dozen times, and uh, I'm really, really happy with it. Where's my hat? Ah, all right, so uh, that's about it, guys. That is the demo on our the base plate. They're twenty bucks uh, for somebody that does a lot of straight edges. You're doing some big signs, and you want some uh, a straight edge guide. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty cool little product. Dad really uh, came up with a great idea there. So we have had. Um, you know, we've had uh, requests for this, this kind of thing, although Dad, it, this is completely Dad's design. I don't know that anybody makes one quite like this, but it, uh, it's kind of cool how it matches right up to the, you know, to the exact shape of our, of our current uh, base plate. So this will fit on any of our base plates as long as they're the small ones. And then I think he's making a bigger version one, like I said. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Eric at makeawoodsign.com. And uh, I hope you guys like this. I hope it was useful. Uh, whether you, um, this is certainly something that you could make yourself if you wanted to. We just, we have them for you for 20 bucks. If you want to get them from us, they're on the website now and um, email me if you have questions eric at makeawoodsign.com and then there's the website with the supplies makeawoodsign.com thanks guys we'll see you on the next one we love you bye